We have new developments in a story we've been following since early this morning. The recovery mission of an 18-wheeler that plunged into the San Jacinto River, which killed the driver. The Harris County Sheriff's Office says it is unsafe to move the truck today, and they will have to try again tomorrow with the help of a private vendor. KPRC's Bill Barajas is live in Highlands with the details of the crash and the challenges authorities are facing. Bill. That's right. It's been anything but easy. First responders left scratching their heads on how to pull the 18-wheeler out while also worrying about the dangers that come with it. The large-scale recovery effort can be seen clearly from up above. Down below, submerged in the murky waters, an 18-wheeler. We've been unable at this time to locate the driver, uh, so we believe at this point that it's in the sleeper cab portion. Uh, perhaps still no signs of life. The crash happened around 345 this morning. Harris County authorities say a car involved in an earlier accident was left in a moving lane of traffic without lights. Nobody was inside the car, but the 18 wheeler didn't see it and slammed into it, lost control and went into the river. A similar accident happened out here recently on the opposite side where a, a young girl died. The recovery of the truck and its driver is filled with challenges, including making sure the bridge is stable and pulling out the 18-wheeler. It's a short drop-off. It's just like three feet, but then it emerges down to about 12 feet maybe. And with it being silt and sand, it's not a very solid, you know, uh, flooring. And that's not even the biggest issue. The crash scene is near a super fun site, an old dumping site for toxic sludge produced by an old paper mill. We've thought other options of maybe removing some of that equipment, but due to the contamination, it's a very tight window space. It would put our divers in danger as well. And the Harris County Sheriff's Office says it will provide security for the site overnight. As for the trucking company, it released a statement saying it was saddened by the accident and they hope the best for the family, but they could not say much more because of the investigation. Live in the Highlands, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News.